Greetings. This devotion is for the 25th of February, and our reading is from the third chapter of Romans, verses 21 through 31. But now, apart from the law, the righteousness of God has been disclosed and is attested by the law and the prophets, the righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ for all who believe, for there is no distinction. Since all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, they are now justified by his grace as a gift through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God put forward as a sacrifice of atonement by his blood, effective through faith. He did this to show his righteousness, because in his divine forbearance he had passed over the sins previously committed. <clears throat> it was to prove at the present time that he himself is righteous, and that he justifies the one who has faith in Jesus. Then what becomes of boasting? It is excluded. By what law? By that of works, no, but by the law of faith. For we hold that a person is justified by faith apart from works prescribed by the law. Or it is God, the God of the Jews only? Is he not the God of Gentiles also? Yes, of Gentiles also, since God is one and he will justify the circumcised on the ground of faith in the uncircumcised through that same faith. Do we then overthrow the law by this faith? By no means. On the contrary, we uphold the law. In, in Paul's letters, there's a very strong theme of understanding that we are saved by grace. And, and the more we read Paul, I am, and as we have read Paul, I should say, I am sure you have noticed that, and that we're saved by grace, not by works. The heart and cornerstone of, of, of Christians, most certainly, um, of, of Lutheran Christians. Now, Paul here further makes the point that our resumes of good works are meaningless. <laughs> we can't pile up the good works and, and because good works, we've got to be reminded, are, are ways to show gratitude. So, so you'd never be with each other and said, I said more thank yous than that person said thank yous. It almost sounds ludicrous that way, doesn't it? It, it rather God's gift is freely given. It gives us the freedom to say thank you in the ways for us that make sense and, and help us live joyful and peaceful lives. That's our sense of gratitude. We can live those thankful lives in peace. So whatever works for us won't work for the next person, won't work for the other person, because it doesn't matter. The gift from God's the same. How we give thanks, of course, will be different. Let us pray. Dear Lord, Heavenly God, help us to focus on your gift of grace above all else. And let the response to you be joyful and natural. And let the, the gift that that grace gives infect and enrich our lives in all that we do. Heavenly God, we pray for cooperation and compromise in Washington. Dear God, help all peoples come together, put aside differences, that they might work for the benefit of all the people of this country. And heavenly God, in this time of pandemic, in this time of many, many people who have lost their lives due to this virus, we again cry out for an end. But dear God, be with those who, 
whose families suffer because of a death. Be with those who are ill. Be with those on the front lines and keep them safe. And dear God, rush a vaccine to all of our population. We pray all this through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you.